Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv and uh, there's some great news on the iPhone hacking front. I've been following the guys over on the iPhone uh, the Dev Wiki and on their IRC channel. I've been following their progress on how they're trying to uh, rehack the iPhone to get it to where you know we loved it to get AppTap installer, iBreaker, uh, iToner, I don't know what else uses some possible jailbreak stuff. But uh, recently on Friday, they were able to gain full access to the file system. Now, what does that mean to us? You know, the normal person probably doesn't care. Even the, the amateur hacker may not know what that may help with. But essentially, it kind of opened up the door, the first door, to finding, you know, something that's really, really good. And this was on Friday. Today is Monday. And uh, over the weekend, apparently they've been working very hard because today it was announced that a preliminary jailbreak has been successfully completed. What does that mean? That means that they've successfully hacked the iPhone with the version 1.1.1 firmware update. Now this is good for many reasons. Uh, first, let me go down a little bit of the details of what they did. They were able to jailbreak it, meaning that they were able to run third-party applications. Third-party applications. Third-party applications on iPhone version 1.1.1. Great news. Um, some programs required a recompilation because there's new frameworks being used. Frameworks meaning the supporting libraries and <laughs> images and all the different things, uh, how the operating system works, that has all changed dramatically. So some of the programs are going to have to be rethought, reworked, recompiled, and uh, but that shouldn't take very long. <coughs> There's a couple of other limitations, but those are the major ones. Sorry my voice is gone, I've been recording all day. Um, so I'm going to be coughing a little bit more. Now. One of the, the bigger things that uh, a lot of people are going to like, especially my viewers, because I've been getting this question a lot, is that this could potentially open the floodgates for the iPod Touch. So the iPod Touch will greatly benefit from this jailbreak on the iPhone because the, <coughs> the architectures on both of them are very, very similar. So look for probably the next two weeks a public solution for both the iPhone jailbreak has just been announced it hasn't been released to the public but look for a full-fledged hack for the iPhone and most excitingly the iPod touch uh, look for something like AppTap installer or some kind of a public solution which will make things a lot easier and a lot um, a lot more user-friendly because the current jailbreak is very technical it's not ready for us yet so give it a couple weeks probably by the time leopard comes out and we'll have a new app tap installer and a new iBreaker and all these new applications that'll work on the iPhone version 1.1.1 which includes the iTunes music store Wi-Fi music store um, the home button double click and most importantly the thing that I am dying for from 1.1.1 is the security fixes because 1.02 has security holes in it that were patched by 1.1.1 so I'm looking forward to it today's a <coughs> today's a great day in the iPhone hacking world and uh, all of you who were patient like I told you to be uh, can now breathe a sigh of relief because the hacks are coming with the new update as well all right but this doesn't affect the unlocks unfortunately if you unlock your phone and the new firmware you know, major phone and operable. This doesn't completely fix that yet, but it's a giant step in the right direction. Now that the 1.1.1 has, has been jailbroke, is that a word jailbroke? Now that that one's been jailbroke, then, um, you know, finding a way to fix the baseband and all the things like that that relate to the, the, the radio, the things that are broken with these, uh, with the update. Finding a way to fix that is going to be easier. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and uh, look for uh, an iPhone hack video when the 1.1 solution is released. Toodaloo!